life at drc a lot of you guys want to know what you're going to experience over there once you get in it might motivate a lot of you guys and a lot of you guys are already in there like last time from my whatsapp group of brc 20 got selected into brc around three or four got selected into npcl also and uh, it's amazing because last year it was 12 now it is increasing and this year a lot of students from other branches also like civil even physics uh, metallurgy other branches i made videos for all the branches of how to get into brc they are all getting selected they are very happy and they are going to experience it first hand you see it through my eyes through my experiences what i experienced in the period of 2017 to 2018 the 14 months i was over there one year in training school and two months as a scientific officer see what i experienced over there and it is definitely a unique experience it is a pure research based organization you will see nuclear science and engineering over there things that common people do not see and i'd like to share what it is like in there so basically it is a job but it is actually you getting into a college for first year after that it is a regular job definitely not regular it's an amazing job because it's a pure research based job profile so it is going to be amazing but for the first year it's even more amazing because the kind of training that the brc and department of atomic energy in general even npcl people ecl people they get very good training and the kind of training that this department offers is rare and throughout the country any other organization will not focus so much on your orientation course so basically it is like a college you'll get into classes every day you learn from the senior scientists themselves you're going to give examination you're going to make assignments it's basically like a college but even better because now you're having a job a strong job which is going to build your profile and at the same time you are ha you're going to classes you're having friends you're living in hostel you're eating in mess it's an amazing period so i would like to explain the first part of what it is like in the first year because that's what i experienced to the fullest full one year training school that is going on over there so basically you are going to learn a lot of things at uh, sometimes it also is a lot similar to mtech because mtech people study a lot of advanced things that you're not studying in bachelors okay so after your btech whatever gap you are going to see between your btech and mtech the same gap you're going to see over here that advanced stuff you're going to learn but what is different with brc is that it is interdisciplinary and that's the shine of this organization at the same time in the training school because you are going to see scientists and engineers from all the fields physics chemistry electrical electronics civil metallurgy biosciences mechanical every field is going to be over there around 10 to 20 uh, scientists junior training trainee scientific officers from each field and you're going to interact with them because at the end engineering and science it's all interdisciplinary and when it comes to nuclear reactors you are going to need everyone over there because you have to calculate how many neutrons are over there and the physics people comes into the picture then you'll have to control the control rods and the mechanical people comes into the picture designing the mechanisms then you'll have to do a little bit of robotics where electronics and communication people come some computer science people will come and do the programming and then comes some of the field where cancer treatment is going on using your nuclear science so that biosciences people come chemistry people come dealing with the reaction that is going on in this advanced high level cutting edge technology so every field is involved over there and that is the experience that you're going to see for the first full year you're going to interact with scientists of every field and the best are over here because the best are choosing for people who can get in the topmost most respectable scientists of this, this country they are picking hand picking these people after judging them for one hour and when you get in you see so many extraordinary young scientists over there that it is amazing So this year on 1st August they are going to start 63rd batch so you can understand that how long it has been going on it has been 63 times since they organized a one year orientation course so it has been going on since 1950s and when i was over there uh, our batch of 17 to 18 uh, 
it was uh, 72nd anniversary something was going on over there like that and some of the senior most scientists they are retired but they are still writing books they are still doing research some of them came over there on stage and started speaking something about when what it was like there when the first batch was going on so those people still exist and it is such a good tradition that BARC is having of training school that people are very connected and people who get to know each other and become friends in their training school their friendship lasts for like 35 years of their career and that is something very rare that I've seen I've not seen it in any other organization because they bond you like people are bonded in colleges what what it used to be in your four years of undergraduation that is the kind of thing that you're going to see over there in one year itself because a lot is happening over there the classes will be going on yes there will be competition going on too and there will be a little bit of group a little bit of politics going on over there because yes the people you are living with are at the same time your competition and i would not lie over there but yes some people become very good friends over there and my friends uh, that I had in BRC training school are still very good friends with me because I lived with them, I studied with them. You see, I, I spent the late night studies with them one day before the examination. So it creates a different kind of bond. So let's get into the classes, right? So what it is like, so 1st August, everything in Department of Atomic Energy goes like this. 1st August it will start and 31st July it will end. It is It has fixed timing. Okay, so classes will be in beginning, it is basically divided into three phases. The first year is divided into three semesters. In the first semester it will be a lot interdisciplinary and subjects like health physics which is common to everyone, mathematics and all, common to every stream will be taught to you. And then from second semester you will be more department specific. If you are from mechanical engineering you will be studying more of structures, more of materials and uh, those kind of seismic design and all that. It depends on what your branch is. That is what is going to happen in second semester. And then from third semester it is going to be solely your project. Whatever your project is going to go for two months but basically the first two semester is going to decide where you're going to be finally placed okay so the first year that you're getting into BRC does not matter much after one year based on your performance your scores your vivas your assignments everything will be calculated and then based on your ranking you're going to be choosing where you can be placed okay and let's say that 15 people from uh, electrical stream are graduating in a particular year then 15 vacancies will come and the topper will choose out of 15 the second will choose out of 14 the third out of 13 and so on so this is how it is happening over there the uh, faculties over there they are amazing senior most scientists some are very good teachers some are not so good teachers all are extremely good at what they do but you know that teaching is not their only profession so a lot of times you need to rely on books and the notes that they give and you have to study from each other You're, you have to use your friends you have to learn from them and that is the opportunities over there is infinite you will be opened you you will be free to go to the library you can read any book that you want you can read research papers whatever you want to do you can do but in first year what happens is that people are so much focused on their scores they do not get time to do any research but they do learn a lot of things new so the, it is like an m tech so you are going to see a huge gap between your bachelor's course or your master's course in case of science and what you are going to learn over there a lot of things will be completely new because uh, they are giving you kind of a mtech degree or a higher master's degree but it is on nuclear science and engineering so they are going to teach you their subjects what are reactors reactor physics will be coming into the picture and a lot of subjects solely based on uh, your radiation based on your reactors first stage reactor second stage reactor you are going to be introduced to the program that India is having for their uh, power based on nuclear science. So all these things will be taught over there. Apart from that, see, the, a lot of students or a lot of aspirants have this kind of misconception that 
life at brc for the first year is very very difficult honestly speaking it's not okay it is difficult just before the examination students over there study all day all night but most of the time when the examinations are over students are very free and uh, they get time to do what they want to do okay they play sports they go for trips it's all fun but i personally and very few over there take some different path that i was preparing for some other competitive examination so i had to cut down all those fun activities but my friends and enjoyed a lot okay so after examination it's all cool and it's fun because you are going to learn over here complete application based thing that is something that you are not going to learn anywhere else okay you are actually going to be taught that because you need to learn those things okay by senior senior most people from npcl also come to teach you about the reactors so it's a good place to be if you want to learn a lot and finally after your placement you will get infinite time to do as much research as you want to do because now that's your job that is the first thing that attracted me about BRC and ISRO and this research based organization that you are paid to study you are paid to learn you are paid to gain more knowledge okay and what you can do with it is infinite you can go as far as you want to go but the problem is that a lot of uh, scientific officers they get very lazy because they are getting a very safe and sound job i'm not saying this about everyone obviously because i've seen from my own eyes people working day and night for their passion over there because they know that this is what they want to do and they are getting the opportunity to do it they are representing india and they are doing a great job but young scientists over there a lot of them get very safe and secure job and do not have the motivation to do research that's a small fraction that should not be the case but yes that is a choice that's another thing that you need to know the research is always a choice and a lot of people have been telling me that there's no research going on yes it is a choice did anyone stop you get over there become a scientific officer and do as much research as you want to do you'll get the funding you'll get the resources you'll get everything thing that you need but that motivation you have to have that choice you have to make okay what is life like in the first year in brc training school because i'm going to make a series of videos on this topic what is life like in brc but in the first one i would like to discuss more about the brc training school the cream part of brc so over here 9 to 5 you have to be over there just like any other regular government job but the only difference is that you go over there to study all right you take your books you take your bags you take your pen to take some notes over there right and senior scientists take time out of their regular jobs and come over there to teach you they are proper study material proper syllabus that they have created over years and years i've explained how long it has been going on right and then they teach then they after uh, one or two months they are going to conduct semester examination on which you'll have to perform and uh, see your ranking and all and then there will be assignments vivas in which scientists are going to check you personally four or five will come you go and stand on stage in front of board and explain the things that you have learned so this is how it is going over there you are going to study some advanced subject like for mechanical engineering i can say that finite element method computational fluid dynamics uh, vibration and all seismic design you are going to study some of uh, sometimes some professors from iits also come to take one or two courses so it is going to be like that uh, you are going to learn a lot of things it is going to be a little bit overloaded because you will have to for the first time read a lot of new things and the gap between your basic bachelor's and this course is going to be humongous and also at the same time the competition is going to be tremendous because everyone is talented over there right nobody is any lesser than anyone else so you would have to deal with that what path i chose is that i do not care about my rankings over there so i just completely left it and learned as much as i could and uh, got the last position but it was fun being last is probably the best decision i took over there okay so this is about it for this video if you want to learn a little bit more about uh, what it is like over there i do not know what you want to know so comment it down below and i'll definitely answer it in the second part and that's about it for this one i'm going to see all of you in the next one i'll see you there bye